Hello and welcome to Vietnam Journal, our daily English news bulletin on NetViet VTC10. I'm Ngo Anh speaking from Hanoi. Every day we'll bring you comprehensive and up-to-date information about Vietnam and following our major stories on Sunday. And we'll explore the speed of life in Hanoi time-lapse. Hanoi, the capital city of Vietnam, has always been fascinating in the eyes of foreigners, especially people from Western countries. Pim Rose, a Dutch teacher living in Vietnam, has discovered the beauty of Hanoi in a special way, which he called Hanoi Time Lapse. Time lapse is a special technique in cinematography which makes video seems to be moving much faster and thus lapsing. This technique is extremely effective when describing movements. Traveling and photography are the two biggest hobbies of him. He's been to many places around the world and conducted many experiments with the time-lapse technique in almost every place he came to. After coming to Hanoi, he realized that this is the perfect place to make time-lapse videos. And here it is, his very first complete time-lapse video, Hanoi time-lapse. When I came in Hanoi, I visited a rooftop bar and shot a time-lapse video and it looked so nice that I thought like, wow, let's not do one experiment, let's take, make a lot of videos and a lot of time-lapse videos and make one big compilation video of it. Making a time-lapse video is not an easy task. For him, he had to spend six months going around with his camera to capture every minute of Hanoi movements in the finest weather conditions. He's been to many places around Hanoi, including many rooftop bars and famous places like the Thái Statue, Long Binh Bridge and especially Westlake. Um, I really like the climate here. It's really often it's very sunny. Of course, during rush hour, there's so much traffic here and uh, a lot of motorbikes. That's really unique about Vietnam, I think. Making a time-lapse video is not just about filming but also editing afterwards. One small backpack with a camera along with its components, two edits cross, a laptop and a huge interest in Hanoi. That's all he needs to make Hanoi time-lapse. So it's often big panoramic views. You want to shoot a long time-lapse video. If you have a close-up of traffic or a close-up of people, you want a really short video because it's already moving so fast. Making Hanoi time-lapse was really fun for Pam. Not only helped him discover and understand Hanoi more, it also brought him some really memorable experiences. Make this song work well. When I w uh, the moment I put the video online, I went to bed and the next day I woke up and I checked my email and I've got so many messages on Facebook, um, thousands of shares. On the contrary of time-lapse, slow-mo technique is used to describe details. One special thing is that the rookie like best is slow-mo scene. <laughs> Yeah, well, it was really nice, especially in that video, that I shot quite a few people who were going through the water. Mm -hmm. But about him, he was just going straight through the water, uh -huh. and while he was going through it and the water was splashing up, you could see a smile <laughs> break on his face. <laughs> Hanoi Time Labs, the panorama of Hanoi, from the widest view to the smallest details. The speed of life in Hanoi was described so lively in the special way of Hanoi Time Labs. Well, the story about Hanoi time-lapse video has wrapped up our Vietnam Journal for today. For comments and feedbacks, please send us an email to netvietdaily@gmail.com. Thank you for watching and we will see you again tomorrow. <laughs>